Hi, welcome to another video. I'm Greg Carrick. I'm a member of the Yarra Rangers Photographic Society and we're going to be holding an exhibition called Expressions 3 at the uh, Warburton Art Centre here behind me and what we're going to do is I'm going to go in and look at the setup of the exhibition and then we'll go from there. Okay, and for those who are interested in this sort of thing, I'm videoing this with my Fujifilm X-T30 and a Samyang 12mm lens attached to the front. job all done by the uh, staff here at the Warburton Art Centre as you can see all the frames are the same size but all the photos are the choices personal choices of the members of the Yarra Rangers Photographic Society for this exhibition called Expressions 3 and what I'll do now is give you a quick run through of the various images just so you can see a bit of a taster in case you want to come out to the exhibition here at the Warburton Art Centre Ooh, look, that's one of mine. Well, there's another one of mine. Now, don't tell anyone, but that was taken with a phone camera. Oh yes, and then I got interviewed by Yarra Rangers Life TV, run by Pat Boucher, at the Warburton Art Centre for Expressions 3. Oh, the Olympics of the Yarra Valley and the Rangers and beyond. Yes, you're watching Yarra Rangers Life TV. But it's all about the Yarra Rangers Photographic Society's exhibition, Expressions 3. We're joined by their president, our president, Mr. Greg Kelly. Greg, thanks for joining us. There you go, Pat. Good to see you again. The Yarrows Photographic Society, they've got a website, um, yrps.org, just behind the internet. Um, so you can check them out online there. Uh, now, uh, it's all about Expressions Free to the Yarrows Photographic Society's uh, exhibition here at the Arts Centre in Warburg. Mm -hmm. Greg, thank you so much for your time and promise to share Expressions Free with us and our viewers. No worries, Pat. Thanks for taking the time to uh, promote this. Yeah, very much, mate. We're going to have a big chat to Jade, who's the um, exhibition officer. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, friends and uh, members of the Yarra Rangers Photographic Society, to the opening of a wonderful exhibition, Expressions 3. Uh, now you're going to hate this. I would like to thank Rob Beal for putting this exhibition together. He's worked hard over the last couple of years organising, uh, well, getting us organised to organising the framing, liaising with Jane Guitar here who works at uh, three venues across the Shire. She's not here today, but I'd like to thank her as well. I have a small personal anecdote and then I'll get on to other things. 
Some years ago, I went to a rather well-known art society and walked in there and looked at all the artworks and painting around the place. And I went up to the lady at the desk and I said, I'd like to be a member. She gave me a form and I'm halfway through filling it out. And she says, what sort of art do you do? I said, I'm a photographer. And she just looked at me and said, this is an art society. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I have come across that sort of attitude numerous times over the years and fought very strongly against it. Photography can be an art. It can be holiday snapshots. But as you look around here, it can definitely be an art. And uh, I'll stand on that against anybody. There's technical uh, aspects of photography that you will see in the various photos around here. Some are straight out of the camera, some are heavily edited. Drag kicking and screaming from the actual habitat, run over by a car, thrown off a pier, eaten by sharks, not floated to the top, is what you see here. Way different than what was first taken. And the results can be absolutely stunning. It's the artist's own story. Every photo here is different and you get different stories and personal touches by the different photographers. And uh, they show the personality, the character, the thought processes of the people behind the camera. They're also uh, enjoyable. The people taking them enjoyed what they were seeing. They enjoyed what they saw it could become. And we can enjoy them hanging here on the wall. And if you're a photographer, and many of you are, I urge you, yeah, pursue the technical aspects of photography, but hang on and chase the enjoyment. Enjoy what you're doing, and do what you enjoy. You'll find uh, Rob Wagner's Freedom of Flight hanging on the wall, with a lovely oriental feel to the photo. Trish Field with Frenzy, very blurred picture of birds. And I know at some judging lights, the judges are, that's pin sharp. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Have a look at that blurred picture of the birds, it's fantastic. Rob Field in the warm morning glow, printed on the canvas, just to add that extra dimension to the photo. <coughs> Stephanie Kruger, sunrise at Millowa. And uh, I remember when she was talking about that photo, it was a very quick snap. She just caught it in time before the balloon moved. <coughs> it was a different picture. Michelle Kornheiser, Tall Trees. A picture of our native and natural beauty around here. Jill Bell, Waiting for the Bus. Strange name to give polar bears. <laughs> but uh, you'll find numerous pictures around here <coughs> that are a result of people's travels. You won't see that, even at all far. <laughs> Rose Sherriff, Horsehead Rock, over there, a very muted down coloured picture with enormous detail and depth. Simon Genevieve, one of his uh, shots, Innocent or Not, it's rather a striking street shot taken in Hillsville. Brian James, one of his pictures, Winter Mist Hanging Rock. Very, uh, lots of depth in that photo. Des Irwin, one of his, Danny Boy. Picture of the child up there at the end. The fun of childhood. Graham Thorpe, picture called Furrow Brow. It's a monochrome landscape and it's absolutely beautiful. Russell Brand, Redwood Chip. The picture up the end there. Uh, local detail of the Redwood Forest and the detail in that all the way through the picture is quite stunning. The picture by Gareth Jones, the looming woods, very atmospheric with light and dark from right to left. Linda Lyons, Three Little Maids. This one here, featured on our uh, exhibition posters in there. Absolutely stunning shot. Looks like an illustration. John Larson, water wall at the NGV. Uh, over there, heavily edited until he got it just right. Yeah.
Chris Hawes, uh, picture called Lower Manhattan, the cityscape, cityscape <coughs> from a high vantage point. And there's a couple of those sort of photos here. A picture by Heather Irwin, uh, the busker over there. Yeah. And uh, absolutely beautiful picture in another overseas city. Anthony Dimmick, we just went to Flinders Street. It's got a fantastic abstract blur here of Melbourne. Uh, and another one, Nick Sage, Weary Sentinels, a great artistic interpretation of what he was taking. Big variety of photographers, lots of different styles of art, lots of different equipment too. Uh, from, uh, and I love this about the club, there's Canyon Creek, some Nikon lovers and the best of course, who you feel? Um, <laughs> I don't know if anybody's got Michael's with uh, photos up here, uh, but there's even one photo here taken with a phone. Okay. It doesn't matter. So long as you want to capture an image, just grab whatever you have and enjoy making the shot. Thank you, Chris.